quite a, quite an attractive look at that. That is Kate Bush. You could work as a. <laughs> is that how I see? I'm That's sorry, not me, John. I thought that was you. <laughs> I basically look like Florence and the Machine if she had a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Noel as, uh, as Kate Bush. I'm hoping now that I'm not going to show a clip of Kate Bush, because clearly I can't tell the two of you apart, but have a look at it. <laughs> I've always wanted to have Kate Bush on this show or one of my shows, and now I kind of feel I have. You know, it's as good as that. Uh, are you going to do more Buzzcocks? You're terrific on Nevermind the Buzzcocks, I think. Are they doing another series of that? I, I love it, because it's like a sort of party where you get to meet quite odd people that you wouldn't usually hang out with. Who's you know? the oddest ones you've met on that, then? Well, it's kind of weird, because you sort of, one week you're hanging out with, like, Rizzle Kicks, the next week, Scylla Black, then Alice Cooper, which was pretty wow. powerful. Well, you kind of look like you could have sprung from his loins. Yeah. <laughs> We're not sure if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> we checked we check some dates, and, uh... <laughs> It could be. There was a possibility he was touring in the early 70s. <laughs> I'd love him to play okay. my uncle in a sort of cameo. It'd be amazing. Are you... How long will you keep doing this for? And, and I'm hoping a long <laughs> while. I'm hoping that someone... It won't be me, but there'll be someone interviewing you when you're as old as Sir David Attenborough. Yeah. And you're still covering your face with latex rub and pretending to be a cork or something. Well... Um, but, but is there a kind of cut-up point doing the kind of thing you do? I think it's... It's, it's getting younger, isn't it? I think when Spike Milligan was doing it, he was a lot older, you know, and it was sort of accepted. I think people are quite into youth nowadays, you know. There's a lot of uh, fetuses coming up behind me. <laughs> I think I'm getting too old. Maybe I'll direct or write or something, or write children's books, or just work in a cake shop in France. <laughs> no, really. It's so you weird. haven't really got plans just yet, well, then. You haven't really I'd like to be a, I'd, When I was a kid, I wanted to be a zookeeper, actually. You, well, and me and well, Julian. Now, hold it. Let me just ask. So, David. Do you think this is zookeeper material? Wasn't it? Straightforward, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to, want to watch out when you introduce him to a Norang Utan. <laughs> <laughs> what is funny is that we open, me and Julian, the Bush actually opened the spider monkey enclosure at London Zoo. Yeah. Wow. We, no one asked us to, we just turned up at night. <laughs> <laughs> Let them all out. <laughs> no, but we did, they officially asked us to, and there was a plaque there and everything. But what happened is they put the trees too close to the fence, so they all got out, and they were just wandering about Camden. Wow. <laughs> No one noticed in Camden, <laughs> did they? Apparently they're in the Hawley Arms just getting drunk. <laughs> uh, how lovely to have you on the show, thank, thank you. you. And uh, continued success. I look forward to seeing everything you do. Mr Noel Fielding, ladies and gentlemen. Are you going to stick around for music? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Noel Fielding, ladies and gentlemen. The brilliant Noel Fielding. All righty. So look out for our Noel Fielding's Luxury Tom the next week on E4. Thanks to all my other guests tonight, of course. The fabulous Daniel Radcliffe and the wonderful Sir David Attenborough, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Friendly company. I'm so grateful you came on. Thank you, Noel. Before